Elam versus Elam. Elam, the villager from Westchester, as we ride into the night. All right, Elam. Elam, obviously, is a big fan of Xeno Weekly. They know exactly what John is capable of. While they may not have played John in a hot minute, they have studied them. They have taken notes. This tree taking away the soccer ball? What? They retook it. John, maybe a little spooked at what's happening here. Oh my God! The tree keeping villager at bay to keep them from being pushed back. And that is a hefty 20% there from just a jab. All right. Elam expecting a sun salutation here. But John being meticulous about when to do it. Gyro stuffing that out. John did say that this is a weird matchup. All right. Unable to really camp against all these traps. All right, not forced to a situation there as the tree was not at the ledge and did not reach. John going low. No way. Oh, trying to catch them with the soccer ball? It almost hit too. Ooh, John stopping them from watering. No tree for you. And a good dash attack. Gets them off stage. And again, the gyro is so good at just stopping that soccer ball. And re-grabbing the soccer ball? Who does that? And John lives once more. Deep breathing online. Avoid the bowling ball. And that neutral is so good to stop just a neutral getup. Slingshotting their way. Uh oh. Oh, they are, they're forced to act. All right, a good dodge. Ooh, okay, a good neutral get up. Saves them the stock. Oh no. All right, Elam, trying to start something once more. John doing a good job of just waiting patiently. And that is death, just barely though. All right, as John goes down first stock, this is just blow for blow. All right, Elam just setting up camp. Trying to catch a jump in. Okay, we weren't fast enough to pocket that. That's on salutation. It's a little faster than you think. All right, now we're now we're comfortable here. Throw out those pots. Throw out those gyros. What you got? We got potted plants. We got petunias. We got bowling balls. This character's oh crazy. <laughs> Turnips. Turn up for what? Turn up for this set. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that soccer ball is theirs. Now while the soccer ball is in Village's pocket, John cannot use it. They can still use header, but that soccer ball is theirs. It's looking like we fit light here as they just toss them out to the blast zone. All right, they do have access to that ax in situations they can break shield with that but that definitely has to be at 50 percent or lower soccer ball out to play once more because it does bounce and it stays so active it's something that can just be repocketed over and over see if it bounces back it's theirs oh my gosh yeah unfortunately john just trying to go off and do that up air as he is very famous for but uh you know what that's that bowling ball, just like that soccer ball, staying out forever. All right, John, thinking very hard here about what to choose against Villager. Does really, really like uh, Small Battlefield, so they are sticking to that. Though Smashville would have also been a very good choice. But John knows that they are comfortable both with that stage, this matchup, who knows? But the stage is definitely not a bad pick, as we're getting right back to it. Three, two, one, go! Boss Fight 1 Kid Icarus, a very fitting song choice for what is looking to be a hidden boss fight of this bracket. Now, I know Westchester is very far, but Elan has to come out a lot more. This is hype. I'm loving this. Not a lot of characters that can stuff out John's uh, soccer ball approach here. We do have Sinnoh, and we do have Vinny, 
both who do play uh, Isabel now and then, but they haven't really optimized their pocketing very well. Not not to the not to the point that Elam has, and there's just no opportunity. It doesn't last a long time, but it lasts long enough to take John to over 50%. Yep, what do you do in that situation? John's just trying to time that neutral getup so, like, just down to the frame. Because if you jump, the neutral air is coming out. If you roll, anything else can come out. Okay, John not wanting to have their shield broken. Choosing to just roll on out. Avoid the turnips. You know what? They got the tree. John's got the sun. And a really good rollback to get that forward tilt. And John takes the first stock. Whittling down that shield. A really good back air. John's shield has never been tinier, but John's motivation has never been better. What? Oh, that could have been it? A rare moment of Villager actually losing both balloons. All right, but John unfortunately having saved them and is going to pay for that as they go off stage. All right, Elam feeling very safe. Whoa, John taking physical damage from that. That tree just fell. He could have yelled timber and it wouldn't have survived. All right, what do we see here? John being very careful that Elam does not pocket the sun, does not pocket the soccer ball. John's usual stay back and camp moves are just not going to work as effectively here. And a just good run in and grab. All right, as we're seeing an easy conversion back to the ledge. Oh no, okay. All right, throws the soccer ball away. Elam expecting to jump. Okay, John doing a really good job avoiding that soccer, uh, the bowling ball. And a good backer finally takes them to the last stock. Who doubted John in chat? Never doubt John. Uh oh. A jab situation, but no spawn dodges. John is starting to make the right place here with the gyro. While it is a terrifying thing, there is a plenty of downtime for them to actually just run up and either do a dash attack or grab. Grab being the better option because it does uh, inoculate you from actually being hit by the gyro. Both players down to last stock. Elam trying to be very tricky here at the ledge. Trying to set up the tree. Oh no. The axe does stay out just too long. It is a lingering hitbox, but it does make for a good just roll on it. Roll on, as you can see there. You grab, you throw. Oh, John trying to catch him with the soccer ball once more, but just ret both retreating the ledge, resetting neutral. Elam just spacing, but John just runs in, grabs, not caring about space. John does not respect your personal space, not when you're on last stock. Six feet away, you gotta stay six, six feet away from John. All right, John going in. All right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. That get up attack saving John's life there. Mm. All right, what are we going to see here? All right, John hanging back. The bowling ball once more. No. The forward tilt. All right. And John bringing this to game three. All right, let's see what adjustments Elam can make here. They had such a dominating first game, but John really clapping back here in the second. And they're going to Kalos. Now, this is a dangerous stage. Wii Fit Trainer, as John has told me many a time, loves this stage. One of Wii Fit Trainer's best stages. However, the, le the ledge trapping situations for Villager are just exponential here. You have those little platforms on the side that you can put up the tree, you can do the soccer, but you can do the bowling ball from a lot further out. I mean, this is just dangerous. But you know what? Let's see if this works out. John does have a, a wall jump now. So let's see what they put to good use here. 
And the platform can be used to escape uh, certain situations now and then. But that does make it a little predictable if you're trying to recover high. Oh my gosh, was that a footstool? It was. Alright. Gyro once more stopping the sun. Stopping the soccer ball. But John able to re-grab. John right to the side. And Elam just knows that as long as they have that soccer ball in their pocket, they will be okay. Ooh. Terrifying. As Alright, there we go. 93%. Alright, finally manages to weave through that bowling ball. John just jumping out of the way, knowing that uh, they don't want that soccer ball to bounce off their shield. Oh, they have the sun in their pockets! A pocket full of sunshine. But only, but we'll see who uh, makes their date here as we, oh. All right, bit of a, you know what, villagers just ready for anything. They got the umbrella for a rainy day. They got the sunshine for when they're feeling good. Oh my God. That soccer ball saving John's life being like, I am more powerful than the sun. Oh, John just missing that edge guard opportunity and a good wall tech. This is exactly why we Fit Trainer also loves the stage. The tech is good, but not good enough to save them their first stock. John going in deep. John having to play so aggressive here offstage. Oh my gosh! Alright. Elam can also tech. But they're down, but both are down to their second stock here on game three. Very aggressive ledge play here. The soccer ball is in Elam's pockets. John just letting the sun rip, though. Eh, John can afford some shields. Hanging back, not jumping. But you know what? Neutral getup is going to get the punish. And as we can see here, Elam is putting those platforms to good use. All right, John just resetting the situation. Able to low profile even these slingshots. Gets off stage, gets heavy breathing. A moment to relax, but not too long as they have to re-engage. All right. We're seeing John able to get that sun salutation all charged up here and ready to go. Deep breathing is still online. Has to jump on high. One turn up. Even if it did connect, it wouldn't have led to a kill. For those of at home, for those at home who don't know, Villager is a little random when it comes to those turnups with the up air and the down air. It can either pull one, two, or three turnups. Three turnups will always spike, and are the most powerful. One being the weakest, unable to spike, and two being able to spike as well. Whoa! That was a checkmate situation, John. Surprised by that, the tree staying out so long on the left, and John trying to weave the thread through the bowling ball and the tree, but just unable to. Maybe if they were a robot like people claim, they would have, but this is no task situation. This is brackets. John on last, on the last life, possibly last winner's life here. Elam, knowing that Grand Finals is within sight, is turning up the heat. Having Tom Nook as a landlord really prepares you for the trials and tribulations of life. All right, John looking for a good back here to try to even up these stocks. Getting punished there. No one misses it. We fit trainers grab just so small. All right, John off stage. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was almost it, but John is still alive. Last stop for both players. John at a deficit, but not too much of a deficit as long as they can get a good conversion here. Playing very patiently here and not letting Elam pocket anything. But off ledge once more, that bowling ball is certain death. And ledge once more. John oh, the gyro saving them. All right. The gyro once more stopping the approach, putting John on the defensive. In the same way that header is a good get-off me tool for John, 
that gyro has saved Elam more times than I can count this bracket. The hero of Westchester has taken out John Numbers. Two to one. Elam will be sitting pretty in winners finals as John will have to go fight. I believe. Ba -ba -da -ba. In losers finals. Now, Dylan Kirby509, I believe, are uh, no, no. Uh, who is in losers? Ah, let's see here. Carflo and Melly will be uh playing up next, unless we have Kirby509 and Dill. But John will be waiting for the winner. Either Dill, Kirby509, Carflo, or Melly in Losers Finals to see who can take on this invader from Westchester. Meanwhile, for those of for the folks who are still here at Xeno, make sure to get some friendlies there with Elam. Definitely learn up this matchup because uh, if Elam's going to be showing up a lot more, you're going to have to learn how to play them. Just want to say. Donkey Kong Country 2 soundtrack, one of my favorites of all time. So if you're a Vibe